Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Maya from, from Book Countries. And hello to day one of Romance Week. So today we are going to be reviewing Red, White and Royal Bull by Casey McQuiston. This book was very popular in the summer of 2019, so we picked it as our LGBTQ plus prompt. Uh, so Maya, shall we begin? What our, is the book about? Okay. Uh, the book follows Alex and Henry. Alex is the son of the American president. Henry is the grandson of the Queen of England. And together they sort of have, uh, at the beginning, uh, uh, a sort of antagonist relationship and uh, in which culminates in them ruining someone's wedding. And for that, they have to go on an apology to a tour, which then they get to know each other better and their relationship blossoms into something more. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so... Uh, let's get on to the character. So, as we said, this is a, an LGBTQ plus rep. So, we have a bisexual person, a trans person, we have uh, a gay person. So, a lot of uh, identities are represented in one book. We also have different ethnicities uh, and races. So, we have a Hispanic, we have African American, uh, obviously white, you know, the royal family. Yeah. Uh, so what is interesting is that the American president is actually female, so we also get to kind of see her perspective and her view, but we're going to talk about that in our uh, later point. <laughs> so for now, we can also say that the side characters were quite awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, they were... Uh, Mostly the main side characters were Nora and June, so two female characters that are intelligent, proactive, uh, say what they think, uh, fight for what they believe in, for their rights. Uh, they're complex characters, which I really liked. Mm -hmm. I don't know about mm -hmm. you, but I really liked how they were portrayed and what role they had in the book. So, yeah. All right. I really like that. Uh, when it comes to writing, uh, we really enjoyed it because it was very detailed. The world was well built. Uh, there weren't any... The characters were well written. There weren't any, any uh, sort of, I mean, fake people, you know. Um, uh, everything was, sort of felt uh, natural and organic and the story flowed beautifully. Uh, we uh, enjoyed the relationship. Am I skipping the part now? Are you getting to the romance part? I think I'm getting to the romance part. You are skipping then. I am skipping. Well, just the writing was really good. And uh, I read this book while it was in the in the pinnacle of its hype. And I I, I told her that the hype was real. The, the yes. book was very good. And uh, if you do enjoy good writing, you should definitely check this book out. Yes. Uh, when it comes to plot and setting, uh, so uh, we have this main plot of them being on an apology tour mm -hmm. where they get to know each other and their relationship develops. However, we also have a, a political subplot, which is actually very up to date because it deals with the presidential elections in America, mm -hmm. uh, where actually the mom, the American president, is very conflicted about how to deal with uh, her son's exploration of his sexuality and her daughter not actually wanting to be in the campaign and kind of compromising between what is good for the state and her as a representative of that state and her own family. We also get to see kind of how she deals with... Uh, family life, how they, you know, have pizza night and stuff like that. Uh, on the other hand, we also get to uh, have a glimpse into the royal family, the relationship with the queen, what is ex expected of a royal, their obligations, how they deal with it, what are the repercussions of all of this, of mm -hmm. uh, the children of the statesmen on the, on the statesmen themselves and the state and the and the state of the country mm -hmm. that they're in charge of. So I found that really interesting also. Cool. So, yes. Now to the main part of this book review is the romance. So the romance between Alex and Henry was such a fun thing to read. Just the development of their, oh, we don't like each other. We sort of like, like each, each other. other. We actually like each other and, and so on. Just uh, the way that they communicate with each other, uh, you know, with emails and text messages the way they were when they were together and you know just the the whole development of their relationship was such yes. a fun read and it was really really interesting um as to them they as a couple 
Is that spoiler? It isn't spoiler. It's not spoiler. No, I mean, they, that happens. They get to be a couple. That literally happens in the first 50 uh, pages. Yes. Um, they, they are uh, communicating all the time. There, there isn't any unnecessary drama. There isn't like no. that um, uh, missed communication uh, trope that happens a lot in, in romance books. There isn't any, any, I mean, until the end, but yeah. there isn't really like unnecessary angsty parts. You know, like, you know, when you read romance books and it's mostly like people acting like teenagers and everything is overly dramatic and everything. Yes. There's nothing of that in this book, which is really, really awesome. Yes. And they really understand each other. Yes. Like, try to understand yes, each other. Because they communicate. They, they explain stuff to each other so they can understand what's happening and why one did or the other did something just to kind of, you know, develop and be better as a couple. And that was brilliant. Yes. So all in all, we really uh, enjoyed this book. I gave it yes. four stars because I had some trouble with the political parts because I wasn't really interested in the political parts of the <laughs> books. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this book. What about you? Yeah, I think I gave it three stars. And, yeah. and it doesn't mean that I don't like it. I really liked it. I just love my romances to actually be angsty uh -huh, and full okay. of tension. But this was, on the other hand, so beautiful to see... Uh, healthy and normal relationship yes it was a fun read I and i would actually it. like the political subplot i mean so, I, just, I was just I, like I was just why am i reading about this i want to read more about alex and henry i don't want to read about oh someone's doing something political and someone's like whatever i don't care but yeah as for a person who doesn't really read all that romance uh, that much romance I, I really enjoyed this book and, i'm sorry i and pushed the table stop shaking the camera so yeah i enjoyed this book Yes, that's it. All right, so look forward to our next review in day two of the Romance Week. We'll yes. see you then. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down uh, below, press the bell button if you want to get notifications whenever we post new videos. And we'll see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.